Welcome back to Weatherbug here on a Tuesday. Meteorologist Todd Nelson with a look at your national coast-to-coast -coast forecast. While the western heat continues, along with monsoon season, we're watching that severe threat march east today from the Ohio Valley into the northeast. And also the tropics, not necessarily the Atlantic Basin, but the eastern Pacific is acting up again. Take a look at some of the temperatures in the southwest in pockets of heavy rain with a monsoon. Denver up to 100, Omaha 90 and 91 in Charlotte. We had a number of severe weather reports from the Midwest into the plains and then east through the Ohio Valley and the Northeast. Temperatures though in the upper Midwest will be a little bit cooler than average. We're talking five to almost 10 degrees below average uh, now that we are post front, but the showers and storms again shifting south and east talking some very warm temps in the eastern seaboard. Atlanta 91, 93 in D.C. and 91 for friends in New York, but triple-digit heat continuing in the southwest. That's because we have this ridge of high pressure, and that allows most of us to stay dry in the west. But again, these thunderstorms kind of bubbling up with the moisture moving in from the, uh, say, Pacific and also from the Gulf of Mexico here. So that daily a constant barrage of showers and storms kind of bubbling up with pockets of heavy rain. But there's your severe threat today. And again, hail and high winds, the primary threat, but we can't rule out a nice that a tornado and that more so from Pittsburgh up to Syracuse, New York. And again, a lower chance of tornadoes, but a higher wind threat down into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley and then back into the middle Mississippi Valley. That front drops south a little more for your Wednesday. Not necessarily a huge severe threat, but I think there will be some ice that had, uh, heavy thunderstorms. And then take a look at that heavy rain across the south and also the southwest again as the uh, monsoon thunderstorms kind of bubble up but it is going to be an active day for us again uh, mainly from the Ohio and Tennessee Valley up into the northeast keep you up to date